Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are back again with Undead Unluck, you guys. The lower drops have been insane. We've been getting hit by them left and right. And currently, Fuko is traversing through Andy's memories to experience everything that he has been through, which is hell. You know, that's like the... That's, if I were to describe it in one word, that's what it is. Because we got introduced to Andy's friends, Josh, and the rest of them, I forgot their names. And they were tragically taken out because they got set up by the woman that owned the saloon. Uh, where they were drinking and it was horrible you guys and then andy uh you know for in order for her to make up for it he told her to put beer on their graves every year and another detail that i was told about was that if i went back to the episode where they were first going to the town of longing where they fought spoil andy had a beer that said don't touch which i think is amazing attention to detail because you know we come back uh, to it now and we're told why that was the case and one more thing that I'm curious about is how is Andy going to turn back into a, like his regular self? He's a book right now, but his undead, it doesn't seem to be working. Otherwise, you know, you'd be shrinking him. And, you know, and one thing that I was actually uh, misunderstood about was that I initially thought that Fuko manipulated the events that led up to her and Andy meeting up at Shinjuku Station. But however, I was told that that was not the case and that going forward, uh, Andy will just have a memory of him meeting Fuko all those years back. And I'm glad you I was told that. Thank you very much. And it, it's cool, you guys. And one thing that Andy at the end told Fuko was his earliest memory, which was April 15th, 1865. And at first I wasn't really like, I was like, I was like, okay, whatever. But then, you know, I was told that this is like a historical date. And then I went back and I like history and stuff. And I actually thought about it. I was like, wait, April 15th, 1865. That's when, you know, President Lincoln was assassinated. And I was like, wait, what? So, you guys, I, I can't wait. I'm excited to get into this. I want to see what happens. Like, I hope Andy's not being accused of doing something. But I'm excited to get into this, you guys. So, if you guys enjoy, consider leaving a like. Commenting if you're new here, you guys. Consider subscribing. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below. My full uncut and early reactions are available on my Patreon. The link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment down below. You guys, feel free to check that out. And you guys, without further ado, let's get right on into Undead Unluck, episode 22. Oh, Washington, D.C., bro. What is this? Orion of Seraph? Oh, that's Victor! Right? Wait, who's this? This is Juiz! Uh -huh. This is Juiz. I I recognize the voice. Yeah, this helmet. Are here. Don't want to believe. Wow, Juiz. Look at how she's talking. She's literally like Fuku. Yo, she's so much different than brother. Huh? Wait, what? What is going on? Yo, you're not about to just wait. Whoa, what the? What this? No. Bro, what the fuck just happened? Wait, should we seal the way with yo? What the fuck? Y'all can't just drop that on me and just not elaborate. Whoa. Wait, there are my memories from this point on get lost? But he knows who she is. <laughs> Yo, quick! Yo, relax, bro. Breathe. Wow, this brother is... Number 2020. Wow. もう二度と俺の記憶を覗こうなどと考えないようにしてやる。何より、お前を殺せば奴の精神は弱まる。その隙に奴を乗っ。Damn. It's alright, buddy. Let's do it. Person question of meeting him. Unluck. That's funny because he's saying it's your own luck, you know. Yeah, 
Whoa, he killed her! Wait, this is modern Japan, right? Oh my goodness. Oh! What is this guy doing? Yo, Victor, breathe, bro, relax. Do we need anything in return? Aw. Yo! Deadline? Yo, what the fuck? Yo! Andy, bro! I mean, Victor! I mean, whoever you are, bro! Missing to kind of mission, I'll be able to meet him. Nah, she good. Wait for me, juice. Damn. Oh, let's go! <laughs> this crazy bullet can't. Oh, yes, sir! Oh! oh. This is actual Andy! I mean personality. Look at the meat Wait, this is not opening river they fight. その俺がこいつをどう思ってるか知らねえがこいつのおかげで今の俺は変われたあ、僕そっきゅうのけるいやなんでフェンドフィキルでたきるしゃブロいやもっとファイトしそうせ<笑> Yo, this is ridiculous, man. Holy shit. The power system in this anime is so good. He's gotten stronger, bro. Oh, look. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Yo. Oh, wow. Bro's like fucking uh, Growile from Pokemon. I really hope they can separate at the end of the so story. Where Victor ends up with Juiz. Juiz deserves to be happy, man. Whoa, yo, Victor's too strong right now, bro. You know what he's gonna do after like. A big charge, he's gonna throw Fuku off. And uh, you know. One for the Amir? Who are you fearing, bro? Oh man! Fuku! Ah, cute. Unlock bullet. Unlock bullet. Yo, Anuraka Barreto. Yeah, but you're about to get pierced or something. Oh! Mm. Wow, his soul into the thing. Yo, he's so sick, Andy. That's kind of cracked, though, if you think about it. If Andy could do that, like. Yo. Oh, 
Master. Yo! Oh my god, Andy cooked this fraud up, bro. I don't actually think he's a fan. A meteor is about to drop from the sky, bro. Bro, Julie deserves to be happy. She looks so cute with short hair. That's what Anwen was saying too. Yeah, that's what Anwen was saying. Yo. <laughs> Yo, wow. Dead me. It's gone. What about the people in the plane? Hello? Actually, there wouldn't be. Oh. Hello? Pokeball? A Pokeball? It's crazy. Oh, he allowed it. This might be- Aw, oh, man! I'm pissed, bro. Please, let them separate. Juiz deserves to be happy, man. Well, Victor does too, but Juiz, man. The TV yeah, you see, he can. He's purposely just chilling in there. Yo, Victor's so left, bro. I fuck with him. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh. Damn. Look at what she's sitting. She's so cute. Eating them cheeks. Oh, he doesn't know. Damn. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah, and they went through so much that they changed, man. Yeah, you see? Bro, this is so good. Damn, jeez, baby girl. いつか神に届くと国の出ループした何度も何度も死んで楽になればいいものをだから俺はあいつを殺すと決めたああ、because Damn, it's the parallel between Fuku and Juiz, bro. Damn, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, that's Imagine if she could actually control what happens, bro. You know how fucking cracked Fuka will be? You can ask Juice. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, bro. Oh, Fuku. Because you know what the thing is? That it happened in Shinjuku. Like how she said it. Oh, man. That's cute. <gasps> Will you over? Oh, man. Can't wait. 
<laughs> the sun is over there. That's interesting. That's an interesting t uh, thing. We saw the moon. Hello? What ended? So you guys, that was episode 22 of Undead Unluck. Honestly, a phenomenal episode. We got... At the start, we found out that Juiz, I guess, was the one that put the cork in Victor's head to bring about Andy. And we still don't know, like, how they're different or what happens. They are two different personalities. And like I said, I'll always, like, say, keep preaching it that I really hope that by the end of this freaking, um... Like, by the time this anime ends, I really, really hope that Victor and Andy could become two separate entities. So, Fuku could be with Andy and Victor could be with Juiz because, you know, like, obviously, Victor said he loves Juiz and stuff. And we got to see Juiz when she was younger with short hair. He was literally just like Fuku and Victor uh, pointed out, too. And I was told this before. I was told that uh, uh, Juiz puts on, a, like, a tough act, but she's just like Fuku. And I feel like more than that, it's, like, the stuff that they've been through. And, like, at the start when she was putting the cork and victor's head she was crying so i wonder like i hope we get lower on that i really hope this gets as uh, confirmed for a season two if not i'm a million percent reading the manga this like this shouldn't even be like you know i'm gonna wait though i'll wait a little bit to like see that hopefully gets renewed like announced for a season two i really hope it does because this anime deserves a season two it's so good you guys in my opinion it's very very underrated a lot of people don't talk about it a lot of people don't watch it and you know now fuko is out of the book She's gotten stronger. Andy and Fuku have gotten stronger. We got hints that in the future, Fuku will be able to control her unluck even more, which is, if you think about it, it's actually terrifying because <laughs> if she could just select what happens to you, like she, like that's so cracked. It's actually like insane. So I'm excited, you guys. We have two more episodes. I'm assuming that in the next episode, we'll rendezvous with uh, Anon and Andy and then we'll head off to fight Autumn. We might clash with Under a little bit and then I'm assuming that the season will probably end with us beating Autumn and I don't know. I'm excited, you guys. So, if you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, commenting. If you're new here, you guys consider subscribing. Let me know you guys thought about this episode down below. Full uncut energy is available on my Patreon. The link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below. Feel free to check that out, you guys. As always, you guys, I will catch you guys in the next one.